Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to use browser use web UI, which is basically a powerful AI agent you can set up for free directly on your browser, and this can just go off and do whatever you tell it to do. Now, what you will see is that you can actually plug in the agent type, and you can select custom, for example, you can actually give it multiple steps to complete the action. And also here you can see that you can select between using vision and not using vision, which means that the AI can see your screen or not see your screen if you disable it. From here, you can actually select multiple different APIs. And this is where DeepSeek version three comes into play because you can select DeepSeek as the API and then plug in your API key directly here. And you can also choose between using your own browser or using a browser from web UI. And additionally, you can just give it tasks. So when you get straight into it, the way that you set it up is by using these GitHub instructions. So you're going to go to browser use web UI and directly inside here, you can see that you just need Python 3.1 or higher installed. And then from here, you go to your terminal, copy each instruction as you can see, and then get it set up. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to select custom as the agent type. Then you can choose between how many maximum steps you want it to use to complete. So we're just going to stick with the default of 100. Now, if you're using DeepSeek version three, it actually doesn't have vision, so you don't need to use that. And then from here, we can say, okay, we'll use DeepSeek API. And if you want to get an API from DeepSeek, you can just go to deepseek.com. From here, we're going to create a new API key. Let's create the API key like so. We'll copy that, plug it into browser web UI. Here we go. And then you're going to select the model name. If you want to use DeepSeek version three, then you would select DeepSeek hyphen chat. So you just type that in inside the model name. And then from here, you've got the API details ready to go. And here's what's interesting is you can actually save the recording sessions. So for example, when the AI agent is using your browser, you can record the whole screen and it will be like a screencast recording right here. So let's test this bad boy out. I'm just going to go with the default prompt, which is go to google.com, type open AI, click search and give me the first URL, right? And then we can hit run agent like so. Now you can see it's navigating to its browser and you can see it's now on google.com. It's analyzing the page using vision. It's typing in openai.com. Again, my hands are in the air. I'm not touching this. And you can see here that now it's grabbing the URL from the page. It's quite interesting how it actually analyzes the page. So you can see it selects different parts. And if we go to the last recording over here, we can actually play that back and we can see what happened. And then inside the recording section, if we scroll down, you can see that it gave us the final result. So it copied the main URL from Google, which is what we wanted it to do. It's got some information on errors, model thoughts. So you can see it's thought process right there. And I'm going to try this, right? So we'll see whether we can test the limits of this. So I'm going to say, go to google.com, type in best SEO agency in Japan. Give me a content outline based on my competitors for SEO. And from here as well, I'm going to say you're an SEO expert, right? So we're going to hit run agent. So see how it performs so it's gone directly to google it's typed in the keyword as you can see and you can see that it's looking through the page so it's typed in the keyword best seo agency japan pretty wild to see like the ai just navigating the internet and analyzing exactly what it needs to do etc now it's actually created the content outline here so let's have a look see what we do it said, I've analyzed the search results and I've identified some of the top seo agencies in japan here's a content outline based on my analysis introduction list of the top seo agencies so it's actually taken like the names of the agencies on the list then it said provide a brief overview of each agency highlighting their strengths and services key seo services how to choose the right seo agency pretty interesting that it has actually done the research figured it all out for us and then based on that it started creating the content analysis now i'm going to say okay go to google.com find me the cheapest flights from bangkok to uk and I'm going to change this now to you're an executive assistant. And let's see what it does now. How good is it at actual research tasks? Because, for example, you can imagine like these sort of basic admin tasks where someone just needs to click buttons and it's not a very highly skilled job it can now be replaced by AI, right? And the thing is, these are the worst that these AI agents are ever going to be. And you can do this for free as well these AI agents are only going to improve over this year. But then number two, if you've got the choice between getting an AI agent to do it for you or hiring a virtual assistant that might cost like five, 10, $15 an hour, of course, you're going to go directly with the AI agent. So let's have a look at this. So we've got the output from the browser. It said the cheapest flight I found from Bangkok to the UK is to London for 23,000. Departing on May the 12th, returning on May 25th with one stop and a total travel time 
of 19 hours, 50 minutes. The flights are with Shanghai Airlines and China Eastern, right? And so that's a pretty detailed and comprehensive analysis. We could have given it the dates and how much we wanted to spend, but Honestly, is that cheaper, faster, and easier than using an assistant to go and do it for you? Absolutely. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get full access to all the SAPs and instructions on exactly how to set this up, you can directly inside my free SEO course, link in the comments description. What you also find inside the video notes from today is 50 use cases and prompts of exactly how you can use this in real time. So it's very practical. And that's included inside my free SEO course. This comes with web lessons on how to do SEO with step-by-step -step tutorials, SAPs, tips, templates, 50 free SEO tools, and a community 3,000 SEOs that are there to help you with any questions that you have. Now, if you scroll down to the free SEO tool section, you'll find loads of cool stuff, including the video notes from today, which are directly down here. And you can get access to all the links, all the tips, all the prompts and the SAP from today step by step directly inside the comments and description of this video. Additionally, if you want to get a free SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book them. We'll show you on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO donation plan, discover the secrets SEO link building, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one, -one. you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that, appreciate you watching as always. See you on the next one, bye-bye.